All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start this lesson by giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rukha, Kudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom, Tala Achim, and his truth and sincerity, starting with the 144,000 and the one third of the nation of Israel, which we're fighting to be a part of. This is the brother Chabar Yakal coming back, rolling with another um, quick and edifying lesson. You know, again, I'm at the, um, the plantation, I'm at the job right now, so, you know, if. Um, you know, if I'm talking quietly, you know, I, I'm using wisdom, you know, I'm not about to be yelling, you know, <laughs> with a bunch of two thirds around me. But I'm um, going to do this quick lesson. Um, as you can see on this article, it says recent. Uh, I'm going to say Elsteria just in case, because you never know. They might go back, like, especially if this becomes a big issue, they might go back and say, oh, oh you know, you know, you know how Esau does try to take down the video. So I'm going to just say, keep it safe and say El Styria. Outbreak linked to deli meat sparks public health concerns. At least one major brand, Boar's Head, has been implicated. All right. And, you know, that should let you know not to buy that anymore. You know, speaking to myself, first and foremost, too. You know, it would be wise not to deal with that brand. All right. But um, it says recent El Styria linked to deli meat sparks public health concerns at least uh i already read that it says in recent weeks a significant outbreak of elsteria mono whatever that says a bacterium responsible for the infection uh lister listerosis has been linked to deli meats prompting widespread public health advisories and recalls the outbreak which has affected multiple states has raised serious concerns about food safety and adequacy of current regulations for pro processed meat. As of mid-August 2024, health officials have confirmed over 30 cases of, of listerosis associated with the outbreak. The majority of the affected individuals are reported to have consumed deli meats, including various types of sliced ham, you know, which they got what they deserve. You're not, you're not supposed to eat pork. That's, that's not lawful. According to the Holy Bible, all right, the laws of Yahweh, which is the Most High God of Israel, Bahashem, and the name Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior. That's not lawful. You're not supposed to eat ham. You're not supposed to eat shellfish, all right? And you could read about that, you know, in, in, the, in the book of uh, Leviticus, all right? I believe Leviticus is 19, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's either 19 or 20. But um, it's in the book of Leviticus. You're not supposed to. Um, essentially, the only uh, land animals you can eat are those with with uh, hooves that are split. That are, um, you know, they got the cloven foot like like a cow foot or a deer foot that chews on grass. Those are the only land animals you can eat. The only uh, sea animals you can eat are the ones with with both fins and scales. All right. And the. Only air animals you can eat, I believe. I think they're called birds of prey, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that, Salaki, if I'm wrong. But I think they're called birds of prey, and that's birds like quail, pigeons, you know, doves, you know, um, turkey, you know, things of that nature. Not not anything like a, a vulture or eagle, you know. Continuing on, it says um. It says ham, turkey, and salami symptoms of listerosis include fever, muscle aches, nausea, diarrhea, and could and could part particularly and can, which can be particularly severe in pregnant women, newborns, the elderly, and those with weakened immune systems. All right, so I just wanted to do this lesson going into the Lord is going to protect us from things like this, and more things like this is going to happen, which is going to lead to you know famines. All right. Because the scripture speaks about famines. So I'm going to I'm gonna start in the book of Job, chapter 5. I'm only going to get like two scriptures, I believe. Job 5, man. Where am I at? Where am I at? I'll start at 19. It says, He, which is the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashem, in the name, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, the Lord... Yahweh Bashem Yahshai shall deliver thee in six troubles. And the thee is speaking about the elect of the nation of Israel, which is the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and also Israelite foreigners. 
but only 144,000 and one third are going to be saved. And that's who the Lord is speaking to right here in the book of Job. All right. It says, Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine, which the seventh trouble is the uh, nuclear destruction, the hypersonic ICBMs, which is going to destroy Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. It says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. And these things are coming. These two things are coming in a major way, which is going to lead to um, cannibalism, all right? There's going to be all type of disease, you know, things breaking out, such as this l -steria. There was something else I can't think of it. Oh, the um, the Mpox. You know, it's going to be a lot of things, you know, popping off to where, you know, they're going to say, um, you know, they're going to recall a whole bunch of, uh, of food and it's going to be become a scarcity, you know, and it's going to lead to uh, famines, you know, which these things are coming. And that's why we're telling our people, you know, to get right with their with their creator, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and repent to be protected and safe when this happens. Like it's saying right here, it says, in famine he shall redeem thee from death and a war from the power of the sword, you know, which that's, that's what's coming. The modern day sword is the gun. All right. So, you know, when when it when there's a, you know, civil civil unrest, civil wars, you know, when the draft comes, you know, all these things, the Lord is going to redeem us from that. All right. And in, in NOT, it says he will save you. All right. Verse 21, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt, shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. So when they try to slander us and demonize us, we're not going to be afraid of it. And the Lord's going to save us out of these situations. You know, try to these devils trying to come put us in prison, you know, put us on the news or whatever. You know, we're going to be safe from this. The Lord's going to deliver us. All right. And we have to believe that. It says, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction of famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the, of the earth. So when destruction comes, when, he, when we see our enemies being judged, you know, we're going to laugh at them. All right. And really, it's going to be the Lord laughing at them. But guess what? He, he the mouthpiece of the Lord is the prophets. All right. So Lord willing, we're those true prophets. Lord willing, we're those men. We're going to be laughing at these people. All right. When it happens. All right. <laughs> we're not going to feel sorry for them. All right. So I'm going to end off with this. All right. Get this in second Ezra. I believe it's uh, 15, so like 15. Second is uh, 15 and I'll get straight to the point. Well, I'll start at 18. <laughs> matter of fact, matter of fact, I'll start at um, at 17, it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. They're going to block off, you know, cities. They're going to block off roads, all right? They're going to be military checkpoints. If you don't have that, that you know, the RFID micro C hip in your right hand or in your forehead, you know, or the Neuralink or, or whatever it is, you know, if you don't have that, they're going to not let you go into certain cities. You're going to be blocked off. This is, what this, this is what's coming, all right? It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And these cities are extremely proud. It's like when you go to the cities, those are the most proud people you 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 will encounter. All right. But in general, the whole great city of Babylon, the whole land of Babylon the Great is full of pride. So these, the Lord's going to trouble these people and they deserve it. It says the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid and men shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation because of things like this you know an outbreak is going to create a whole bunch of recalls and it's, it's going to become a scarcity all right this is only the beginning man it's going to get worse but like i read in job the lord's going to redeem us and save us from that all right psalms 91 you know we're going to abide under the shadow of the almighty the lord's going to protect us man just like he did in ancient egypt so, Lowell in this lesson was edifying. With that, 